trap points play a vital role in the yard. They stop runaways from colliding with trains on the main line. They mostly went unused, but if the need arose, they could derail runaway trucks, coaches, and even engines, as poor Duck soon found out. Duck had been working with a trainee driver. He was keen to learn, and not just about driving the engines. He was eager for his tea break, which was really a chance to shadow the station master. In his haste to leave, he hadn't put the brakes on properly, and Duck began rolling backwards. He shut his eyes as his weight shifted, his wheels off the rails, and he came to a halt. Duck was thankful the trap points had done their job, but he was less thankful for the engine that came to his rescue. If this is the Great Western way, color me unimpressed, huffed Fergus. It wasn't my fault, scowled Duck. Anyhow, it could have been much worse if not for the trap points. If you'd been doing it right, retorted Fergus, you wouldn't have needed trap points. They're just an excuse for your blunders. Duck was furious. Once he had been re-railed, he stormed off to the sheds. Where does he get off with that do-it-right nonsense? That's the pot calling the kettle black, have I ever heard it? Chuckled Donald. What do you mean? Asked Duck. You have to admit, replied Douglas. It's not a fair cry from your blither about the Great Western Way. The Great Western Way, popped Duck, is about common sense. Fergus's way is nothing but dangerous perfectionism. He never approves of anyone else's work but his own. The twins couldn't argue with that. Fergus certainly wasn't easy to please. Duck was hard at work for several days afterwards. The driver wanted to make up for his mistake. Duck wanted to show Fergus a thing or two. This was easier said than done. A bit smoother when buffering up to those trucks, Fergus called from across the yard. Do it right! Duck took no notice and started off towards the station. And mind those trap points, have a yard to sort and no time for rescues, added Fergus. Duck ignored this remark. Fergus huffed indignantly. I don't know these younger engines. Ooh, no discipline, I tell you. The trucks, who much preferred Duck to Fergus, ignored him. Later, Duck's driver took another tea break this time to watch the yard signalman. Fergus was shunting close by. The driver watched as levers were pulled, points were changed, and Fergus rolled smoothly towards the trucks. That's right, that's right, Fergus smiled proudly. The driver noticed a lever that seemed to be untouched. What's this do? He asked, grabbing hold and giving a pull. Hey, hey, no, 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 don't touch that! The signalman. Everything happened at once. Fergus was backing out of the siding with some vans when he swerved suddenly. Ooh, he cried. Stop! The vans, crossover Fergus's treatment of Duck, saw their chance. Come on! Come on! <laughs> they cried and pushed him along, right off the rails. Ouch! He cried as the vans howled with laughter. Though trap points are normally worked by powerful springs, they can be operated by the signalman if necessary. The driver had done just that, and sent poor Fergus off the rails. Oops. He blushed. Out! 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 Yelled the signalman, shooing him out of the box. The driver got back to Duck just as the yard manager arrived. Get up steam as quick as you can. That goods train is due out soon and needs sorting. What about Fergus? Asked Duck. Oh, leave him where he is. We'll deal with him later, replied the yard manager. Duck set to work at once. The driver was extra careful, and they worked quickly to sort the train. He said nothing as he left for the station. Fergus felt foolish, laying by the line side. Other engines laughed as they passed. He certainly didn't feel he was doing it right anymore. Eventually, efforts began to get Fergus back on the rails. Duck stood nearby, ready to help. Is that you, Fergus? I am surprised. I thought trap points were just excuses for slipping up. But you'd never do that. I'm sorry, blushed Fergus. I suppose we can't always prevent our little, uh, incidents. Never mind, smiled Duck. 
If you ask me, admitting you're wrong is very Great Western. The two engines chuckled as Fergus was brought safely back onto the rails. Both are now firm friends. Duck's new driver decided learning other aspects of the railway was too distracting. He became a good driver, and there were no further trap point mishaps. Fergus gives a hearty whistle whenever he sees Duck in the yard, and there was no more talk of doing it run. At least, not to the Great Western engine. Signal boxes and tenders don't mix, called Fergus as Donald backed into a siding. Do it right! Oh, hey! fumed Donald. Duck just had to laugh.